Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Divine Example March 7 The Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. Luke 12.12 12. The servants of Christ will be brought before the great men and women of this world who but for this might never hear the gospel. The truth has been misrepresented to these persons. They have listened to false charges concerning the faith of Christ's disciples. Often, their only means of learning its real character is the testimony of those who are brought to trial for their faith. Under examinations, these are required to answer, and their judges to listen to their testimony born. God's grace will be dispensed to his servants to meet the emergency. It shall be given you, says Jesus, in that same hour that ye shall speak. For it is not the ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. As the Spirit of God illuminates the minds of his servants, the truth will be presented in its divine power and preciousness. Those who reject the truth will stand to accuse and oppress the disciples. But under loss and suffering, even unto death, the Lord's children are to reveal the meekness of their divine example. Thus will be seen the contrast between Satan's agencies and the representatives of Christ. The Savior will be lifted up before the rulers and the people. The disciples were not endowed with the courage and fortitude of the martyrs until such grace was needed. Then the Savior's promise was fulfilled when Peter and John testified before the Sanhedrin council. People marveled, and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. Acts 4.13 Of Stephen it is written that all that sat in the council, looking steadfastly on him, saw his face as it had been the face of an angel. People were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. Acts 6. 15 and 10. The servants of Christ were to prepare no set speech to present when brought to trial. Their preparation was to be made day by day in treasuring up the precious truths of God's word and through prayer strengthening their faith. When they were brought into trial, the Holy Spirit would bring to their remembrance the very truths that would be needed. Further reflection, the thought of going unprepared into trials fills most people with dread. How does trusting God in the small things of life prepare me to trust Him in the big moments of life?